Hello, welcome to Strong Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy, and today in the chapel we have Proverbs 1.10. My son, if sinners entice you, do not give in to them. So just trying to walk the walk, um, do the right thing, that kind of stuff. Been doing a lot for others um, this weekend. So it was uh, Memorial Day weekend. This is actually Tuesday. Monday I was off. But this weekend, I did a lot, but not as much as I'd like to do. I'm so ready to be retired. Um, okay, so the first thing I did was, um, at work, I have this big stone uh, desk. It's beautiful. It's, I believe, granite, and with the cold weather, it's been in the zeros this weekend and it's feeling like negative and I have a little heater up there but the stone is very cold to the touch and it makes the area around it cold so I have a little heater and then I decided I made a pad for it when I first started there and it was temporary it not very good but then I made this so I don't know if you can see this this has got honeybees and stuff it's really a pretty thing but on it it says kind words are like honey sweet to the soul proverbs 16 24 so i embroidered on the back i used just a solid pink and i embroidered on the back three little bees going every which way and then of course i put the proverbs down here 16 24 so i also made myself a little uh coaster to match so I will have that at my desk. There's batting in there. I had some leftover from RJ's quilt. I ended up layering it about three times. And I embroidered this before I put it on here. So, um, and I played with some of the edge stitching. <laughs> I did a cross stitch edge around the edge of this. So it's really flat. It also has a piece of batting in it. So yeah. I'm good with these. So I made those. And that is the only thing I made for myself. Um, uh, the next thing that I took on was a neck pillow. Okay. Now I've never made one of these. So I kind of had to, uh, make my own shape. I wasn't sure how they, it didn't come out very straight, but, um, it is also embroidered with Macy's name. And the blue goes with the different blues that are in it. Uh, I am whip stitching the center because I overstuffed it. I wanted it to be really stuffed and I used a serger and I busted out a few seams. So I'm going to whip stitch all of this here. Um, I still have from here to here to do. So I just need to do this. Um, it's the first one I made. It's just for Macy and RJ. It's just me playing around. So I'm pretty sure it will be fine. Um, like I said, I'm whip stitching it. This is upholstery thread, so it'll be really strong. I just have to finish whip stitching it. I haven't finished it up yet. So that will be hers. Um, then I'm trying to do all the uh, embroidery and sewing that I did in one thing so that I can uh, do the crochet in another. So <laughs> trying to do it in sections. All right. The other thing is, is that I have Valentine's to do for work. So I am making each person a little felt bag with an initial on it, their initial, um, some of them have oopses in them. Some came out perfect. That one's not very centered, but, um, yeah, some of them came out looking amazing. This one I got perfect, you know, centered. Uh, it just did amazing. So these are my practice. So I have never done embroidery. So I thought if I did these, I'm learning to float. I'm actually getting pretty good at floating. Um, I'm not very good at getting the thing taught you guys know that I made this last week and it's my Valentine bag um, but I made one two three four five six seven 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 of the 18 because I can't figure out who else is left. And then I'm going to fill those little bags with candy and put them. That's their Valentine. I do have one that I still have to stitch around and turn it. Uh, it's getting there. Uh, I'll get the list today to make sure that I've got everybody that signed up so far done because we're not going to get it, get the list for another week and a half. And then Valentine's Day is the 14th. I don't want to be rushed with them. It's the thing. And I've got so many to do. Uh, then I have one more January birthday at work. So I made another pickle. Um, trying to get ahead with the pickles because I'm giving every person one of those at work. And so I've got another one started with his old, I've got his first bump in. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on those. I did have to stop by Hobby Lobby and get some more green yarn. Um, one of these will make, and, and I'm just using, it's a little $5 one. Uh, it's $4.99 and it's uh yarn V. There we go. I think I got six or seven. I can't remember exactly. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. I think I got seven out of one, but I'm not sure. And I vary the sizes, so I can't really say, you know. And these are super simple. I don't even have patterns for these. I'll be honest with you. Started with a magic circle. And, oh, I have one over here. No, that's, I got it. One guy I've got that I'm going to put the eyes on. Ooh. He doesn't have his googly eyes in yet, but he's not a pickle either, but sorry, had the hot glue going. Okay, so I started out, I'm just going to run down this real quick. Um, I did six in a magic circle, and then the next row, I increased each one, and then the next row, I did two, inc one increase, one one increase, one, one increase, one. And then that normally gives me the right shape. And then I just go straight up from there, putting in the bumps. And I just do it in the rounds. When I get up here, I decrease the same way. And then my little top knot there is I chain, I don't know, six or seven, just depending on how long I want it. <coughs> and then I four single crochet in each chain back down it so um to make the bumps i just do like four single crochets in the same hook in the same uh stitch so yeah it it's super simple stuff them and go on um this one's already spoken for at work i've got the other one being made the other thing that I did was when I did those um, emotional support pickles, I'm sorry, I've got sinus drainage. One of the gentlemen at work, he's got uh, some high functioning, mentally challenged people in his life. And they're into these little things that I crochet now, not intentionally. But anyway, they were online and they found positive poop. Well, Heidi loves the little poop uh, emojis. And so uh, they found positive poop. And her mom was like, oh, I could get behind this. So I made them two of the little um, poop emojis. And again, started in the center, did a magic circle. I think I did like eight on this one because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. I had a bigger hook side. I have a bigger yarn size on this too. Um, and then just increased and 
the first round I did two two stitches in each stitch. The next one I did two stitches, one stitch, the same as I did with the pickle, but I kept going up a few rows until I got it not that big around. And then I just varied the size of them. And literally they're all just sewn together. Um, so I made this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece I stuffed and did the top knot pretty much the way I did the pickle, but then I secured it down. When I got everything done, I took a long piece of yarn and took it up all the way through and down because they're very poofy and I want it squished looking like a poop. So I, uh, yeah, took and ran it down and it made it squishier, um, flatter, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So, um, I probably should do a little thing how to do these. They're super simple. Um, and then I, you know, I'm all about the googly eyes. So they've got googly eyes. I might make the googly eyes a little bit bigger, get a bigger size. Um, just because here's one without the googly eyes. Um, I could do a French knot. I could do, but I'm just all about the googly eyes. So I've got the glue gun and I'm doing this one. Uh, I did two for Danny, um, because his daughter of course is into poops and mom was like, well, we'll have a backup if you would please make this too. So I did. And then, um, Tiffany was telling me that her sister, Ashley, who is high functioning, mentally challenged, um, thinks poops are funny, but her mom is very prim and proper and doesn't think it is. And there was a whole incident about, um, Ashley wanting poop cupcakes cause she thought they were funny and mom just ruining the whole fun day that they had picking those out for her and her sister and mom just was like now we have to serve those at her birthday party and that's just not funny and I can't believe you wanted this and thought so yeah she made it a whole bad experience so I told Tiffany I said that I had to make Ashley one and I'm gonna tell her to put it in the dash of her car <laughs> make mom look at it she'll be driving down the road with poop in her <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, so I've worked on all of those. And the other thing that I was working on is octopus. Um, I showed you the yarn that I picked up, the blue and the white. I have, I have a mess in here, I'll be honest with you. Um, uh, I had started to. Okay, so. Sorry, I'm dropping stitches. I have all the tentacles and I've started to sew them together. I think I've got one sewed together, but I can't find it. I could have swore I sewed one together and stuffed it. Yes, I have all of these tentacles. Here's the body. Aha, there he is. So. I have one tentacle done and he's stuffed. And once I get all of the other ones done, then I will stuff him. And I am going to, I think, use button eyes on this guy. But once I get, I'm going to do it before I stuff him. And then basically you go around and attach it and then you have bottom piece it comes up like this so he will but yeah um I also have an order in there's my other tentacle uh I have all of these to do I have one done one started uh and then this but this is for a baby that isn't born yet so I have time on this and I'm gonna going to be working on it the rest of this week and hopefully get it done. Um, so what was I saying? Ah, there goes that. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, so I had ordered, um, 
the uh, little pudgies from Hirsch Nurse. It, they were a little kit, and I wanted the pattern. But all of my kits are on back order. They're not going to um, be coming out until the first part of February, so I don't get to make my little pudgies. So, I would probably be making more stuff off of the 99 animal patterns that I was gifted, um, just because. So, I really am thinking I might make that stick ring, too. I don't know. Anyway, so, I had a pretty productive weekend. Cleaned up the house, did the laundry, made a big old thing of potato soup. I made a spice cake. Um, just... Stayed in and stayed warm. Didn't even go and do my grocery shopping until yesterday. Okay. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> but other than that, I think I've been super productive. Um, these will all go to work with me today. All of this stuff, the little mat, coaster, and all of these guys will get out of here today. Um, like I said, this one already has some place to go. These two have some place to go. This one has some place, but I gotta put his eyes on first. And I might, um, keep this for Valentine's Day for Ashley. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna get the eyes on it and get it put. I like to put them in a little Ziploc so they don't gather dust or anything. Um, I probably should look into doing some cute little bags with, a little drawstring or tie or I should probably make some I really should but <coughs> uh, I'm also thinking I need to get a Navage um, I'm just tired of all this and I don't know if any of y'all have ever used them I want to know if it's gonna help my sinuses every morning with the cold in the dry heat of the fireplace, I wake up, my nose is crusty, then it all starts to drain. You know, when I let the dogs out, I go outside for a minute, then it, everything starts to drain. Then I start this hacking cough. It's just a vicious cycle. And by about 10 o'clock, I'll be fine. I don't have a cold, don't have anything. It's just my sinuses and the air around me. So I'm not real sure. Somebody told me that they were amazing, and I'm thinking I might get one. If you have a personal experience with them, I would love to know, um, just because. Uh, other than that, like I said, I had the surgery running this weekend. I had the embroidery machine running this weekend. I did sewing. I did crochet. Um, I covered my roots, did my nails. I just... I'm ready to be retired. I'm ready to work on crochet and maybe have time to go back to making some tutorial videos. I would love to show y'all how to make these because I did not find some any cute free patterns with him. I made this up. Okay. Um, same thing with the pickle. Okay. Not that hard to create and yeah, just check. And basically the same pattern just altered so um it's the same principle so anyway yeah i'm kind of liking making the toy things um i have a bunch of white buttons and i was thinking for the octopus that i would make white button eyes i think they would look very traditional old-fashioned Toyish, so I don't know. I'll see how it looks, but I am gonna sew the eyes on before I stuff it. Um, I don't want to have to do it this way, <laughs> and that's what the pattern calls for. It's like this with, then you make the black part and then you layer it. I think I just want to put either button eyes or doll eyes or something like that. Um, I'm really digging the whole button eye thing um i remember i had a rag doll my grandma always worked on and it had button eyes and 
It was cool. So anyway, all right. Other than that, I cleaned up, did chores, like I said, made potato soup and just stayed in because the weather outside is freezing. Um, I think this morning it's zero, feeling like negative 23 with wind chill. Yeah, it's that cold in Oklahoma. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of here. That is everything that I'm working on. Uh, I talked to RJ and he came by uh, Saturday morning. It wasn't so cold Saturday morning. Okay, this, it even snowed here. Okay, we have snow in the front yard. Um, it didn't snow until Sunday. So, um, but Saturday morning he came by, <coughs> had pancakes with us and just things are going fine. He was going to buy ooh, some calves and, uh, yeah. So he's, Macy's planning the wedding and he is just doing his thing. So, all right. I will let you guys off here. I will talk at you next week. Um, I don't know that I'll have this much to show you next week because I do have to work. Uh, but we'll see what I get into this weekend. Y'all have a great week. Stay safe and stay warm. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye.